Hello everyone. I am Varun Patel, based out of Bangalore and part of Force Team. And welcome to the 2021 edition of AU Lightning Talks. In this talk, I am going to talk about Chrome extension in Force development. We use Chrome extension to automate few boring tasks, which result in increasing productivity. And it's also fun when you write your own script for test. The agenda for this talk is we'll know how a Chrome extension works. We'll build one actually. We'll build a very basic, bare minimum Chrome extension. And we'll draw a demonstrate a use case in Forge. So let's head over to documentation. So this is the documentation of Chrome extension. Let's go to overview. And here we get the basic skeleton actually. A Chrome extension is basically, it just two files. I'm talking about the bare minimum Chrome extension here. So let's try to build one. So an extension consists of two files. One is manifest file and another is a script file. I'm going to create a new file called manifest.json. So we had copied from the documentation. I'm just going to paste it. Now we need one more file called main script. First, let's uh, get the skeleton actually. We get the script edition from this topic in under in-depth core concepts, under content scripts. We get this boilerplate codes like for adding a script. So let's just add one script based on the URL. We still don't have the script file. Let's just name it main.js. We don't need CSS. I'm just going to create one script file called main.js. I already have written the just bare minimum code what it does is i'll explain in a minute so that's it this is the chrome extension it has two files the manifest json is an entry point all it says is matches an url and runs the script so i already have this use case we will just take one of our forge examples and what we want to do is run a script let me show that and i'm going to say the way we load the extension is we go to chrome colon double slash slash extensions and enable the developer mode. Reload the page. Go to this extension and just drop it. That's it. Now, if I go to this website, we have to manually enter client ID and client secret. Now we have written a code for that adding the assigning a client ID, client secret, and clicking the authenticate button. So let's do that, let's reload it. And there you go. Our extension added the client ID, client secret, and logged in for us so that we can view the files. And we have few links.
github link the chrome extension documentation and the skeleton link thank you for listening to this talk